Oh, there we go. How's the look, huh? It look good? I hope so. It's a new light I got, I guess. Hopefully it works fine. Hopefully it's just about right. It's not too bright on my side, but hopefully it's okay. Yeah, lighting looks about right. Morning guys, it's a uh, very really beautiful morning and uh, I'm over at Pandan Reservoir today, definitely it's a no brainer, I can tell you, you can tell I've done this intro at this place more than once, so it's a beautiful morning, it's just that day where uh, past that week that was really cold, like today's the first day where it's not so cold, it's still kind of chilly but I think it's going to get hotter in the day, uh, I like other days actually, today I actually have a uh, I don't, really have, I don't really have a solid plan in mind. Like I just brought whatever I have and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roll with it and the only plan is to honestly just to catch fish. So I might just show you guys what I have rigged up first. So first up, I have these, uh, this small pencil topwater lure that I bought from Beach Road the other day. So that's gonna be used first. And I also happened to find one of my older lures just sitting in the cupboard. Uh, I think I got it for free one point in time when I bought a certain rod. Uh, I think it was a storm rod. Uh, so I have the little right over here. It was given like a, as a complimentary gift. So uh, yeah. So this is the one right here. I think it's some storm flutter something. I can't remember what's the name, but it's, I think it's a floating minnow. So that would do pretty well too. So off to do that as well. And uh, yeah, so the only plan is to catch fish, so better get started right away. Day has already broken and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now uh, we're here. So today I did something a bit different. Today I came to the other side. The side that I don't normally come to. I don't, the, uh, what's this called? Uh? Not the Penjuru side. Uh. So hopefully it's okay. So it's my first time using this small walk the dog lure. I hope it's okay, but already I'm having problems. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it works fine, it works fine. Yeah, actually it's pretty decent. Yeah, the walking is actually pretty decent and it's so such a small profile that I think I think we really got our chances for today. Oh but Oh, well, it's definitely really treacherous here. Really gotta be careful. And pretty decent distance too. Hmm, somehow the hooks always get caught up in front. Okay, let me try the other lure and try its action out and see how it goes so this is the one actually looks pretty okay very nice uh, injured big fish action man this is way more treacherous than the other side Very sketchy. 
very sketchy. Okay, so I know it's kind of quick, but I decided to switch it up to because uh, the other lures weren't producing. <coughs> so I played those two lures for a while, but they weren't really producing. So uh, I decided to switch up my to a smaller jerk bait. So uh, I'm using this uh, X rep here, and uh, I've got a minor <laughs> accident over here. Anyways, for the other rod, I'm switching to the twin tail grub. Yes, the old faithful. Cause I need some fish, alright? I need to regain my confidence. So, catch you guys in a bit. Alright, so after much uh, thought out deliberation, I decided to start off with the uh, twin tail grub uh, to secure some fish. And also the fact that it's pretty steep here. So I don't really fancy going down. And this grub allows me to just fish from wherever I'm standing from. So no complaints there. That's about right. I'm out of drag. Uh, go my grub, do me proud. Now, time to head back up. In a peace, a safe manner that has not been demonstrated right here, folks. Fish, there we go. About time we got something. Oh, my drag's on pretty tight, that's why he isn't really taking any line. But folks, there you have it. First fish of the day. Taken on the uh, old trusty favorite, I guess. Uh, nothing else works. This is bound to work, I guess. And that is my first pandan bass in quite a while now. There we go. In fact, I think I just got him like by the lip. Wow, I think my hooks are definitely bent out for sure. How about that? That's actually a pretty decent fish. About yeah, that is a pretty decent fish. I mean, then again, you're going by my standards, so... Yeah, the hooks are bent out. I never set a drag properly again, but... There you have it. It's a nice, beautiful peacock bass. Beautiful. Uh, sorry, you guys probably can't see. There you go. Nice, beautiful peacock bass from Pandan Reservoir. I think he's ready to go. So... How about we just let him go? Uh, it's kind of treacherous to go down any further, so I'm gonna have to do this. Just throw him inside there. Okay, that was bad, that was bad. Sorry. Okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, he's off. Wow. Old, trusty, favorite. Definitely works out. Okay, let's go for another one. Oh, no wonder it's not okay. It's like... There we go. Oh. Fish. Fish on. Fish, guys. Oh, this is a decent fish. Ah, uh, of course I had to fall. Of course. Take this one slow, folks, because this is a decent. This is definitely a decent fish. Looks like today they want to grubs, man. 
They definitely want to grub today. If you're wondering why I'm playing so long, it's because my hooks are really small for this one. I mean, it's not <coughs> big like my PB big, but this is definitely pretty, uh, pretty decent fish. I don't want to play him nice and slow, you know what I mean? There we go, folks. Over there. There we go, people. How's that for a How's that for a fish, huh? Not bad, huh? For a pandan fish. What do you think? Pretty nice, eh? Now, well, I probably do want a picture for this one, so I think I'm going to go up first. And well, I got him pretty good. I got him pretty good. Oh wow. I got him good, man. There was no way this guy was coming out. Oh, I'm gonna need pliers for this. Alright, I'm gonna let this guy go really quickly. Uh, everywhere is sketchy. There is not one good place. Okay, this one's not so bad. Alright, there we go. Oh, hopefully this goes okay. Yeah, because I ran out of the water for quite a while this time around. So for this guy, you gotta need to make sure that uh, he revives well. Oh, I think I might have overdid this guy a bit too much, huh? You okay, man? He's not leaving. Like, he's still staying here. So I'm not really sure if he's okay or... Are you okay, man? Just not sure. I mean, I want to be sure, but uh. Alright, there he goes. You're okay, man. Nice. Nice. Now, that's what I call a good experience from the catching to the uh, photographing to the release. One complete, beautiful set. That's how we do it, people. Nice fish on the... Oh, yet yeah, still on the Old Faithful Twin Tail Grub. This time around, the drag was properly set, so it should be okay. Just that it's kind of ripped out now, the plastic. Well, it can't be helped. That was pretty sizable. All right, so it's two fish on the Twin Tail Grub now. And zero on all others. Not that I'm surprised. Oh, that's a fish. That's a cichlid. I don't know whether he wants it. It's like, uh, I don't know what you call it. It looks a bit like a Mayan. Uh, fish. No. That might be perfect. Fish. Oh. Oh, it's an ope, yeah. I literally just saw, I'm not sure if it was this fish, saw this fish, came up, I made a cast that was there on a drop and he just took it straight away. Pretty sure it was not this fish though, I'm pretty sure I can tell Ope from any other cichlid. But still, yeah, it means that, you know, there was some sort of a commotion there and I guess that was pretty nice to get a nice surprise you know just I guess it pays to just flip it over sometimes let's see if the other one's still there
And yes, this is the end of the session. Calling a day right here. So for a day when I made no plans at all, and there's pretty much no theme to today's session, I did pretty okay. I just came with the uh, recommended stuff once again. Um, actually, hold on a sec. Now, come to think of it, actually, uh, the previous session in Pandan, I didn't actually catch a pickup bear, so I caught one this time around. So that's, I think that's achievement. Yeah, that's actually a, a, an achievement right there. So at least that's my first decent uh, pickup bass for this 2018. So yeah, finally, at least we achieved something in this session. Uh, honestly, I uh, decided to call it a day right here because the wind's been picking up and uh, my twin tail grubs and uh, my presentation is all honestly just uh, not really doing so well uh, presentation wise. Try to switch it up to other stuff as you pro probably saw in the video but uh, it didn't work out and uh, unfortunately I, yeah, I lost the faith. I just didn't feel like it anymore. Yeah but you know towards the end you know I bumped into uh, one really awesome dude. Uh, so I was actually, I met him while fishing at the pier over there and uh, you know he was really uh, really nice because uh, along this stretch over here when I came here uh, because pretty much when I came here I just wanted to fish a bit and then just call it a day but uh, you know he was really nice uh, he actually offered to show me around this area like where are the you know the the secret honey holes and uh, yeah that was honestly really helpful so next time if I can come to this stretch I'll be that much more prepared and because honestly, it's my first time on, on at, at this side of the stretch, at this side of the stretch, at this side of the reservoir. I'm sorry, and uh, yeah, any help is greatly appreciated. So maybe I'll hit, maybe in the morning where it's not so windy next time, I'll just hit this spot first, and maybe it can be quite a good session, you know. And with that, I think I'll just honestly have to end the video right here. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Keep the faith, fish will come, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sure you don't want this juicy morsel of a grub. It's twin tail, it's not single tail. You know you want it. <laughs>